right, we should be good to go now. Let's get into it. So let's see. So there's a couple of options here. You can, what I like to do is uh, I like to, I like the idea of going straight to blues where he's at right now and getting to at least level one bonus. As you see, eight slash 30. I like to get at least level one bonus, uh, maybe get a kill or two if I can on the outer circle before the middle circle starts uh, spawning orbs. I do have a guide for this game mode uh, on my Discord uh, as well as on my channel obviously. But I like the idea of getting level 1, maybe even level 2 off of a kill, maybe a couple extra blues, and then going for uh, the middle. Let's see what GD does. Okay. Uh, that he got level one and now he's kind of chasing, uh, just throwing out some skills. Uh, I don't know why he's using Daisy, but it seems he just does enough damage. Uh, Zed, uh, a buddy of his, uh, actually already got a couple kills as we see. He's trying to pick off, uh, Mysteria on the side. But chasing too far is bad here. Ooh, he got the kill on Zed to get to pick up his orbs. Took first place. Throwing out skills. Everything spawning. Yeah, uh, grab the grab the uh, grab the yellows as soon as possible. If people fight over it, throw out some skills. He got all but two of the yellows. Uh, working on the. Uh, purples but it turned into pvp when your screen goes blue like that it is silence someone dropped either a diablo or rose there all right so yeah just pick it up you won that fight one guy walks in there Ooh, he took damage on that piercing arrow piercing arrow basic attack is a lot of damage uh, should get back. Now he's spending way too much time on the second ring right now. Looks like he just wants a couple kills. Do, 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 do. Just for point efficiency, staying middle. Uh, oh, no. So right there is good for him. They were fighting. He picked off two of the three guys. Oh, it looks like he's. St oh, oh. Yeah, uh, what I like what he did right there is he switched wind so he could balloon flower to get the defense down, but it looks like he didn't really want to kill his buddy. Uh, maybe not, that could be speculation. Getting all those. Uh, staying on wind, I'm confused why he's not uh, doing holy right now. Uh, especially Sakura would be very powerful here. Alright, Earth. Boom, 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 wind. Here's the holy. Dead. Look at all of those orbs. That's a great change. 1,800 points, not bad. Grab all these. <laughs> Sneaking the kills. Uh, there were four people that just ended up fighting, and three of them were low. He got all three of them. Right here. I w yep, that's exactly what I would do. I would get the free kill while you can. He only dropped white orbs. They're not worth picking up at this stage. Turn back around. Go back and start fighting for the middle. We're about time to start spawning some more orbs. Look at double kill. White orbs, whatever, they're there. Now he missed three yellow orbs because he went down for the white orbs. Not worth it. Uh, he just looks a little too powerful for his current range. Everyone's uh, 5.8 to 6.2. He's like 7.1. Uh, CP isn't end-all be-all, but when someone's that much ahead of you, uh, especially he's another content creator, he knows the game well, so it's not like he's not built well. Throw out some skills. When, you're, when your opponent throws out a tenacity ball, you really should dodge. 
That was a beautiful balloon flower. Pulled three people together. Uh, he dashed through the Diablo barrier. Uh, you have to be careful. It's hard to tell if it's a Diablo barrier or a mistletoe barrier. A mistletoe barrier, if you dash through it, it will stun you. So it's best to just fight from within it until it dissipates. He needs to cast that heal. There it is. Oh, okay. Dark side down. Boom. Okay, okay. Throw out. He is just double the next person's points. Good job. Keeping good control. Uh, I'd be going after the purple ones, but I think he just wants some kills at this point. Now, it is worthwhile to go after Zed or Materia or Mandrax here because you want to lower their chance of killing you. If they're able to stack up their passive, as you can see, he's at plus 40% damage. Uh, and you don't want the enemy to get to that level of damage. So, killing them to lower their stacks will allow you to stay powerful longer. As you saw right there, this guy took almost no damage from the triple uh, multi-arrow because he has a couple of stacks going. Oh, there we go. Oh, nice kill. Plus 50. Dropped a bunch of purple and yellow orbs. And it is just a slaughter. Let's see here. Boom, boom. Yep, dead. Because we have the uh, holy uh, proc and the slaughter proc. Zed is dead. The uh, strongest other person on the server. We're at 5k points to 1800. This isn't really a match anymore. That is it, guys. It is over. Let me know what you think of GD down below. As I said, I will have a link to both of these videos. Check them out. Give them a follow. And let me know if you want to see this for other players in the future. Till next time, guys.